bio art goes in many forms nowadays, but uh, generally speaking, it's art uh, made with biological materials um, or, or art that comments on uh, biological materials and their use um, in society or in everyday life. So there are different levels, I guess, of, of biological art. There's some which are funny, it's just a cute take and things, you know, like pills you swallow that, you know, that give you perfume coming through your body and things like that, you know, which are humorous uh, and, and really interesting, radical, ironic, you know, etc. Uh, but then there are also uh, works which are slightly deeper, which critique real notions in society and some of which are not always um, um, you know, happy or they're not always optimistic. You know, bio art has this tendency also to show dystopian ideas of the future uh, as bio fiction or sci-fi has um, in the years past. So I also did a project uh, recently that was shown at the Pioneer Square Artwork, um, which involves uh, this idea of wind data as being a, a way in which we could um, engage with uh, imaginary spaces. So in that installation, I asked people, um, you know, where would you want to be? Um, and when they would input uh, a destination into a system that I created, um, for the next month, it would send uh, a text message to uh, the participants every time the wind blew in the direction um, of their destination. And so it's uh, a profound experience, I think, because it brought up a lot of uh, emotions in the people that received it you know, um, memories, perhaps, uh, emotions, um, you know, places that you wanted to be, uh, places that you want to be but cannot go to, or places that you've been in the past or your childhood home, perhaps. Uh, and all these are kind of like, um, you know, an amalgam of, of uh, emotional density that I was hoping to achieve with this project. I think at DX Arts in particular, you know, our focus is always on the art and science. You know, we are very, very um, deeply embedded uh, in technology. Uh, as you can see, we're currently sitting in a room with like close to 40 speakers. It's never really about the final work. It's always really about uh, the collaborations um, and uh, between artists and scientists. It's always about the artist kind of going into the science lab and trying to engage with this research that sometimes he or she may not have any background in at all. Uh, and how do you negotiate that, you know, how, how do you communicate your ideas to the scientists and how do you get them to see your point of view? Um, how do you shape their research in a certain way uh, so that you can answer the questions that you're trying to ask?